make these neat little guns. Yeah. Well, what else? The Rec 7. So it, it felt natural to us to progress to Rec 10, which is our large platform of the, the reliability enhanced carbine series, the Rec series. Uh, you know, why did we get into this? It's, uh, there's other folks that make 308s. Uh, but I think it could also be argued that all those other guys that make 308s, no one has like taken over the world and become like the standard right. 308. So there's still a little bit of non-standardization compared to the AR platform. You know, they've all kind of come down to a standard uh, measurements and a uh, architecture style, or if you will, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple of different platforms in AR-10. The customers that we have out there there's still a great need for 308 semis and for multiple roles. Like this one you're holding here is the longest, heaviest gun. It's more of a semi-automatic sniper system, so mm -hmm. it's like a SAS. Uh, we had a specific requirement for that, and we have requirements for a lighter gun that we have built now. And the, the most incredible thing about it is we have not unveiled this to the public yet. This will be released at SHOT Show 2018. Yeah, and minutes from now. Minutes from now. And we have um, we have already won a major military contract with the Rec-10 in 308. For a gun that hasn't even been released yet. Right. And, and you know, it, it's a, not a program that a lot of our competitors or the obviously the shooting public knew we were in, but we've been working on this behind the scenes for a long time. We've taken everything we've learned from the Rec-7 program. Uh, we have, we've looked at a lot of other semi-automatic 308s combined all the DNA from the MRADs and what we know about barrel making and making a precise rifle, and we made the Rec-10. And the people's hands we have put it in, especially the lightweight 16-inch carbine, the people's hands we have put it in, they have been blown away. Because I think a lot of people were skeptical also. Right. Like, oh, you're gonna make right. another 308. Right, uh, yeah, another and 308. Another one, and they say, whoa, this thing is really, really great. So we're, we're pleased with it. Um, well, if you can, I, if I can interrupt yeah, you, please. Well, you guys are kind of late to the game on this 308 thing. So, why? Because we've been working on it for at least two years, and we've been watching. You know, and we've we've been serving our customers on other things we've done, but this is a, a need that kept cropping up, and kind of just like with our Philcraft rifle, I didn't see exactly what I wanted. Right. You know, and and I've tried a lot, and I've tried a lot of semi-automatic 308s. Ne nothing was ever. They were always like 90%. Like, right. This is almost right. It, this is our idea of what's just right, and and obviously from um, from this very demanding customer that we've just put this in front of that has adopted it for their country's defense forces. Yeah, it's um, they love it. I wasn't I wasn't trying to bust your balls there. Like the the point I was trying to make that, that he didn't say is he wanted it to be right before it came out, and that's they they would never rush anything. Check this out right here. This little attention to detail right here, this little tab that, that keeps the, the upper, uh, sorry, the the, uh, the handguard from moving on the upper, that like little little stuff like that, that's, that's if you ask me what a Barrett, a Barrett rifle is, it's a bunch of little things that you'd never notice that make a rifle awesome. Yeah, thank you. So guys, if you wanna check this out, come by the Barrett booth at SHOT Show. Maybe you'll bump into me there, maybe you'll bump into Chris, but this is gonna be the centerpiece of the, of the show. So come on by and check that out. You can go to Barrett Rifles and, and look at the website, and they'll be in dealers' hands really soon. I bet these Very things. Very soon. I bet these things are gonna get bought up at, at Shot Show. I bet I, you're gonna I, sell a few. I hope so. So James Jagger and Chris Barrett for Tackle Sponsor reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.